Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and today I will show you guys a few really important things that you must do on your device once you have updated your iPhone to the new iOS 18.3. Now, usually when new updates come out, especially like big updates like this one, there are a few different things that I suggest every iPhone user does. So in this video, I have eight things to share with you guys that I suggest you must do immediately after you have updated your device. Now, first of all, for everyone that has installed a beta of iOS 18.3, what I suggest is that you go to your settings, you go under general, and then go under software update. Now, right here, you will have your beta updates. If you no longer want to continue with betas because a beta for iOS 18.4 is imminent and it should be released in days now, if you don't want to continue with betas, then go ahead and go right here to beta updates and make sure you have turned them off. Now, of course, if you want to continue installing betas on your iPhone, you can leave that on and you will get an update for iOS 18.4 as soon as the first beta goes out. Now, another thing I suggest you do right here is enable automatic updates here. Now, the reason I'm saying this is that with the release of iOS 18.3, there will be most likely another update or maybe even two between iOS 18.3 and 18.4. Now 18.4 is expected to go on beta this week and it will actually be released in April. So it will actually be like two months between these two updates and most likely there will be smaller updates that Apple will release in the meantime to fix like different bugs and of course security risks, things like that. So what I suggest you do is go ahead and enable the automatic updates. So we'll have here iOS updates, the ability to download and install and of course security responses and system files. You make sure that you have all of these enabled on your device. The next thing you want to do here is check your carrier. Now, usually when a big update gets released to the public, there will also be updates for carriers. Not all of them, but a lot of carriers will release updates. Now, the way to check the carrier update for your iPhone and also update at the same time is simply head on to your settings, go under the general settings, and right here, all you have to do is just go to the about section. You go under the about section, stay there for like 10 seconds. If you have an update, you will see a pop-up right here on the screen of your device asking you to install it. You click install, it installs in a couple of seconds. You don't need to actually reboot your iPhone or do stuff like that. It's very, very simple and it's very fast. So make sure you also check your carrier update after you have done the update to iOS 18.3. Another really important thing is that you also update your apps. Now, most of the apps, especially the bigger ones and most popular apps will have updates ready to be released right after a big update for iOS. Of course, you will get new features and it will be more compatible with the new software release. So make sure you check your apps and also update them after you have updated your device. The way to do that, of course, you head on to the app store right here under your account. You will have your apps and you can just tap right here to update all of your apps. Now, if you don't want to bother with that, you can always go to the settings of your device and right here, make sure you go under apps and you will have the app store right there at the top. What you can do here is just go under automatic downloads here, make sure that you have enabled app updates, which means that the apps will be updated automatically. So for every app, whenever they get the update, the update will actually install automatically on your device. So you don't have with, don't have to actually bother with checking the updates for your apps. Another really important thing is, of course, the battery health of your iPhone. Now, why I suggest that you actually check the battery health every time you update your device is that iOS, a lot of times, most of the times actually, won't show you your real battery health. Like mine here is actually stuck at 91% and it has been like this for the last couple of months. Only when you update your device, it will actually recheck all the components of I of the device and will show you the real battery capacity. Sometimes it won't even show after an update, but most of the times it does. So why I say you, you actually check this is that if you have a battery, especially on the older devices, that it's actually close to the 80% mark on the battery health, then it actually might be lower. But when you update, your iOS device will display the real percentage there 
and it might have dropped under 80%. So we want to make sure to check out the battery health of your device and make sure that it has not dropped under 80%. If it has, you will actually need to replace the battery of your iPhone. Otherwise, you won't get the best performance out of your iPhone. Apple says that they actually do that in order to save battery so it lowers the performance but it actually won't save that much battery the battery will still be really bad and you won't even get the performance now if you have a newer device that does support apple intelligence meaning an iphone 15 pro the 15 pro max or any of the iphone 16 series just know that when you update your iphone to ios 18.3 Apple intelligence will be enabled automatically. So previously with the first releases, iOS 18.1 and 18.2, you had to go under Apple intelligence and Siri in order to enable Apple intelligence. But with iOS 18.3, that will be enabled once you have installed 18.3, meaning that you are using now Apple intelligence, even though still on beta, it will be enabled automatically. So what I suggest you do is go ahead and check this. If you have disabled it or basically you don't want to use it, make sure you go ahead and disable it. Also, you have to know that Apple has actually disabled summarized notifications for a lot of apps. So with iOS 18.3, head on to your settings, go under notifications, under summarized notifications, you will have now the new list of apps that support summarized notifications. So if you're seeing notifications missing for, from any of your apps, know that that's what's happening. So go ahead and check the list here. And you will also see some apps that will say temporary unavailable, which means that you won't be getting summarized notifications from those apps. And when you update your device to the new iOS 18.3, another really smart thing to do is go ahead and give a quick look to your privacy settings. I suggest you do this all the time. So go ahead and go under privacy and security. You will have a few things here. First of all, you will have all the media here. And of course, everything like the camera, the microphone and all that. So go ahead and check all the apps that you have right here. Make sure you have checked the apps and you have actually made sure that the ones that you actually intend to have those things enabled for are enabled and not ones that you maybe don't want to have access to your camera or microphone or maybe things like local network. Another thing you can do here is of course if you're using location services make sure to check this as well and see if the list of apps is the one that should be and all the apps that you intend to give access to your locations are enabled otherwise the other ones should be disabled and you will also have here tracking so make sure you go ahead and also check this list here and see if any app that are not supposed to are actually able to track you and of course turn them off from here so that's basically it for this video guys these are eight things that i suggest you do immediately after you have updated your device to the new ios 18.3 as you probably know, iOS 18.3, even though in numbers it looks like a big update, it's not actually that big. It doesn't have a ton of new features. We'll have to wait for 18.4 for that. But again, it's quite a good update with a bunch of like small new features, but it's okay. We'll have to wait for 18.4 and see what app or Apple has in store for us. So that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And of course, subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you on the next one.